What's up guys, welcome to new Unview Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super realistic explosion using Chaos and Niagara Fluid Simulations. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is to go into Edit, Plugins, and enable the Niagara Fluid Simulations plugin. So let's search for Niagara, and now you'll see this Niagara Fluids. Just go ahead and tick it, then it will say they seem better, we'll say OK, yes. And then we have to press this button to restart our editor. So let's go ahead and do so. All right, so my editor has restarted. You can see if I now search uh, Niagara, you can see that now it's enabled. So everything is great. So now we can start to use it. So let's begin by dragging our simulation into the scene and see how we can customize it and so on. So what we're going to do is go into the content browser, just right click and go and create a new Niagara system. Also, I have to just mention that I'm using the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.2. You'll see there are any, you know, differences or whatever. Now let's go and select new system from template or behavior example. They say next. Now you'll see all this absolutely amazing Niagara simulations. So what we're going to do is go into the 3D section and you'll see that we have this 3D gas explosion. We're going to be using this one. So just go ahead and say finish and few seconds there we go we can say Niagara system F so Niagara system fluid and then we're going to do is just say explosion for example right now we can go ahead and drag it into our scene so basically just go ahead and drag it and you will already start seeing the explosion absolutely amazing in 3d this is this is mind-blowing like <laughs> this is crazy okay and the things that we're going to do is just make the wall space size a bit bigger. So instead of 300 by 300 by 600, let's make it around 400 by 400 and by 700. Basically, just a bit bigger, just in case it goes into our borders, okay? With that said, we can start dragging in our fire. So let's have like some flames out there in the screen, okay? And the screen up like in the floor okay so just right click and let's create another Niagara system another from a template or behavior example let's go down into the 3d section i mean you can use 2d ones but come on guys 3d are cooler right so let's select this uh, gas fire and you can of course select whatever piece you want to customize as you want but let's select the gas fire say finish Niagara system fluid underscore and then just fire flames or whatever and with that, we can just drag it into the middle, let's say. And now you'll see all the flames are there. Pretty, pretty cool. So now let's make that, for example, an object will explode into pieces using chaos, okay? I did actually already make a similar video on this and how to make a simple explosion using chaos and some Niagara Flex, but this is using, you know, fluid simulations. More and more professional. <laughs> uh, so let's go into our starting content and go into our props and you'll see that we can use them now you don't see these are contents that you create the product without the start content so you can do is just click add go into add feature content pack go into content is add the start content okay or of course you can use whatever mesh you want i'm just using this chair because i guess it's just easy to use right so i can just drag it into the fire let's say let's write it a bit and there we go, it will be there in flames. But of course, right now, this will you know not explode or any kind, it's just there. So what we can do is go into the selection mode and go into the fracture mode. And basically, on here, we can start to basically fracture our chair into different pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new geometry collection. It's basically a collection of all the different pieces. So we can create a new one, we can just go ahead and say SM chair um, chaos. I don't, I don't really care about the name, okay? You say create geometry collection. And now we can go into all these different options. And in this case, the simplest one is to go into fracture uniform. And it will basically split our chair into different pieces. Now, let me go ahead and just move it a bit so we can see a bit better. And as you can see, it will just basically chop it. And we have different options here. So for example, the amplitude. So we're gonna make it bigger, smaller, and so on or increase the frequency so it will be in uh, more tiny pieces, okay? Uh, so you can really play with those settings. You can also change the bar and anything, so it will definitely make it more. So be careful with this because the more you chop it out, let's make it 30. Uh, the more you chop it out, the more uh, you know, impact performance and so on. So with that said, we can go down and you say fracture. 
and it will you can see separate all the different pieces on here as you can see and we can also change the explosion amount to see how our explosion will do and, and I mean this is pretty damn cool so now we can go on selection and put our well let's just leave it there right now the thing is right now if I uh, you know just press play you can see that it will not be shot right and I can really interact with it right now and I think I can interact it but it will not really do anything so first of all let's set a chair and let's go down until we see uh, damage and now we can open the damage threshold and put everything at one the thing is that this is how hard it will be uh, for the chair to be broken into different pieces so by sending this number down I can now break it much easier as you can see so this is exactly what we want but now of course we want to boom you know explode it dynamically when you know the game starts or whatever so let's convert this into a blueprint real quick so we can just select this chair and go into this blueprint icon okay and just go ahead and leave everything as default so in new subclass this selected and so on and we can just change this to be bp and um, chair for example i don't really care about the name and you say select and this will basically create a blueprint so now what we can do is go into the van graph delete everything except the begin play <laughs> you can see that it's kind of lagging over there these full simulations are really expensive be careful with them so now with this what i can do is you say add impulse and basically i will add an impulse at the geometry collection component which is basically you guessed it the chair with the pieces on so with that said i can just apply some force in the z axis which is set axis is basically upwards so i can put for example fifty thousand. Now you can play with the values that you want to explore it, but for me that will be good. So now if I press play, you can see that the chair will explode into pieces. Now it looks a bit odd, and this is mainly because of the frame rates. It's uh, very, very laggy right now. Okay. But now what I can do is start placing this over here, my chair. There we go. Now the thing is that right now we can all see the edges of the explosion. Um so let's go ahead and you know get that debug out so uh we can just go ahead and disable draw bounds and now that will get rid of it so let's do so also for the flames draw bounds disable and you can see that now we don't see the bounds now when we press place better you can see it, all this will happen so now let's make our shock like basically like a mini particle just exploding and uh for this what we're going to do is go to the chair go to the van graph and you say um well let me quickly go into this our content so the thing is that we have some particles here and we have some cascades let's use this particle explosion so it'll be like an extra thing to get more of an impact okay the main thing of course are the niagara uh, flu simulations going in as the uh, flames of smoke but this is more of an extra thing to you know give it a pump so what i can do is go ahead and say um spawn and this will be emitter at location in this case, I can select my explosion. Again, if you don't have it, you can import the SRA content or use your own particles or whatever you want. And then in location, you say get actor location and then leave everything as default except the scale. Let's put it to two, two and two. So it's basically a bit bigger. Now let's add a bit of a delay because if not, it will be, be very fast. So let's put like 0.332, uh, something like that, okay? And that will just basically get rid of time and you can see that now everything is exploding with that and you can see the smoke and the flames and everything is going in and it's really cool now let me go ahead and just move my character's camera a bit more to the right so we can see this a bit better and sorry about the frame rate my pc is basically struggling a bit but yes so i'm going to just put this to 600 so it's more apart from the character and then put it here into around 70 so it's more into the right over here so now i can basically see explosion but better as you can see and it's looking pretty pretty cool so there's a lot of things that you can touch in order to change the simulations and so on okay for example you could go into the explosion and right when we open it make sure to pause it real quick because it's very expensive in here and basically you can change a lot of things for example in we go into the density position and you can change things to density and so on uh, you can change the sphere radius or they pretty much the spawner as you can see in the updated the velocity that you know how speedy will go travel you can change a lot of things as the color and so on so 
really you can go in depth um there's some advanced things in here so be careful with them um but yeah you can do the same with the flames and so on right so it's entirely up to you let's make this a bit bigger so three three and three the explosion is a bit bigger and what we can do is also um hide the uh, fire flames to be basically after we put our explosion which is just the an extra thing so you can see we have the auto activate we can basically just enable this when we want so let's disable this by default and just go into our um basically chair yes and let's say get all actors a uh, well get actor of class with tech so i think there's yeah get, we need to get all of them okay so just get one uh, note of those and now we can go into fire flames search for tag and in here let's put a tag of basically just flames it doesn't really matter in here let's go we can close a third person character let's type in flames and on here let's just get a copy in this case it will be the first one that we find and from there let's go ahead and basically uh, from its component all right it's an, an Niagara component we can just set to be activated so now here we're going to do is uh, cast to the niagara actor and then plug that in and then basically set the basically an um, active and now that will basically access the Niagara component so then we can put this to be at uh, true now you'll see that at the beginning it will not be true but then it will start as you can see and this is exactly the same thing with our explosion so let's go in explosion disable auto activate go into tag uh, add a actual tag and this will be explosion uh, and then just copy the name this has to be exactly the same as it's written okay make sure that's that's set uh, so now what i can do is actually i'm gonna make a sequence so i can make those at the same time so sequence and we can just go ahead and do exactly the same but basically with our explosion so put that there but no that's not what we want explosion that's what we want there and that should now happen so now when i press play it will explode and then shortly after the flames and smoke will start to appear and now lastly we can basically just put an explosion sound mm, so for example we can use uh, put another ping here and this will be basically play sound at location and now we can be the location will be get actor location okay now we will not create a sound animation to begin the 3d in this tutorial but you want to check it out i have a tutorial on that so check out how to make 3d sounds and now in here we have different things i believe that we have explosion yes so we have the explosion one that will work for us of course you can put whatever sound we want but with that that should work now when we press play you can see the sound and the explosion happening it is lagging a bit but this is high performance but there you go you you guys get the idea so that's it guys if you found this too helpful i really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel remember that the private files will be available in my patreon or youtube members so check it out through the first link in the description join my discord server and follow me on my socials and now yes well i said bye bye